When the Allies were preparing to invade Europe in World War II, they were concerned that the Germans would deploy chemical weapons to stop their advances. Because of this, the Allies issued soldiers a bunch of specialized gear to help in the event of a gas attack, but none of it was ever needed. Some examples of this are this waterproof gas mask bag that would keep soldiers' gas mask dry during an amphibious invasion, gas detection brassers that would change color if gas was in the air, and new uniforms with special flaps inside to help keep gas off soldiers' skin. As I mentioned, these weren't really necessary because the Germans never actually used chemical weapons. Once soldiers realized this, most of them disposed of or repurposed their protective gear. Many soldiers threw out their gas mask, but kept the rubber bag to store food, ammo, or cigarettes. Most soldiers threw out these paper brassards pretty quickly, and many soldiers ripped the protective flaps out of their uniforms to make them more comfortable. Both of these original uniforms had the gas flaps ripped out of them when I bought them, and this one still had its original gas flap rolled up in its pocket. In addition to all this, soldiers' uniforms were also treated with a chemical called CC2 that was meant to keep the gas off their skin. In my next video, I'll talk about CC2 and how I plan to mock it up on one of my reproduction uniforms.